So this is an F sharp major chord. It has to be played as a bar chord, but an F sharp note is at the second fret of the E string here. And right here at the fourth fret of A, we have a C sharp, which is a fifth relative to F sharp. Play those two notes, that's an F sharp power chord there. To play the full bar chord though, we want to have our pinky on the fourth fret of D, ring on the fourth fret of A, and then the middle finger on the third fret of G there, and now we bar at the second frets. So the notes in an F sharp chord are F sharp, second fret of the E string there, then we have C sharp, which is a fourth fret of A, another F sharp note at the fourth fret of D there, it's an octave F sharp. At the third fret of G here, we have an A sharp note, that's our major third. And then at the second fret of B here, that's another C sharp note, second fret of E, another F sharp note. So that's our F sharp major chord. Now there's another F sharp chord. At the ninth fret here on the A string, that's an F sharp note. You can play a power chord while holding the 11th fret of the D there. That's another C sharp note. And if you want to make it a major chord, we just have to flatten this ring finger out on the 11th frets of D, G, and B. There's our other F sharp major bar chord. Now if you go to the 7th fret on the B string here, that's another F sharp note, and we can play another D shaped F sharp chord here, well, if we hold the 6th fret of E with the middle finger, 6th fret of G with the index there, 7th fret of B there, that's our F sharp note, 7th fret of B. This is another F sharp major chord.